Hello guys, this is Alex Wormser and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to install Microsoft Windows Whistler build 2202. It's a beta and this is my first time doing a beta build on PCEM. It's the earliest build of Windows XP. It identifies itself as SD Windows 2000 in the watermark. SD refers to the source to port control system that Microsoft was developing at the time. Otherwise, the build still bears Windows 2000 branding and the NT5 kernel version due to its earliness. So, we're going to go to PCEM. We're going to create a new config. I'm going to name it 2202. Click OK. For the machine, I am going to pick a Shuttle Hot 557. I'll set the Pentium as Pentium. 200. You can pick any of these. You can, but I recommend Pentium MMX 200. For the for the video, I am going to use ATI Match Turbo. Four megabytes. Let's put it on fast. For the sound, we're going to do Sound Blaster PCI 128. We're going to click on a new hard drive. We're going to give it 4096 and we're going to place the config. on your configs folder. Okay, in the configs folder you can name it 2202. Click save and it's gonna create the drive Okay, it's done. Click OK. Oh yeah, most importantly, since it's a beta, if you're gonna install betas on PCEM, be sure to uncheck synchronize time to host clock. Otherwise, the beta will stop working. So here we go gonna start the machine when you start the machine hit delete to enter setup go to standard CMOS, CMOS and set the BIOS date to February Second, two thousand. And one thing to note you cannot install Whistler. Due to a bug check, I will show you what happens if you install it with the CD. I'm gonna start the boot sequence with the CD ROM. I'm gonna show you what happens.
I'm going to show you what happens if you boot from the CD-ROM. Okay, we're now at setup is starting Windows 2000. Here's what happens if you boot from the CD. It gives you a blue screen of death. But there is a way to circumvent this. You have to use an MS-DOS or 9x boot disk to partition and format the drive which I will show you. Insert a Windows 95, 98 or Millennium Edition boot disk. For this video I'm going to use Windows 98, a Windows 98 boot disk. So you can't install from the CD. You have to use an MS-DOS boot disk to partition and format the drive. Okay, I rebooted the host and changed the boot order from the floppy. We're going to start computer with without CD-ROM support if you're using a Windows 98 boot disk. We're going to first we're going to type in fdisk Say yes to large disk support, create DOS partition or logical DOS drive, primary DOS partition, it's varying, verifying the drive integrity. We're going to make the partition active. Go up to system and hit control alt delete. Next, start computer with CD-ROM support. Yeah, this drive letter right there, you will need to remember it. The drive letter is E for this case. Next, type format C colon S. Warning, all data on non-removable disk drive C will be lost. Proceed with format 
say Y and hit enter and it'll format the drive. It's going to ask for a volume label, which we are not going to at the moment. You can if you want. Actually, don't copy the i386 folder. Instead, you have to go to your drive letter, which is E, type CD, i386, and since Whistler 22 toad 2202 is a NT based operating system. Type win NT and it's in setup. Enter. It's reading the im file dos net dot imp. Setup did not detect smart drive. Smart drive will greatly improve. Well, you can continue without Smart Drive. And it's copying files. can see it is copying files right now I'm not gonna go through the copy stuff cuz that'll take too much time alright copying files is done took a really long time so yeah since copying files is done the next thing you need to do is remove the Windows 98 boot floppy and hit enter to, re to restart your computer I mean the config whatever it is it's gonna restart and Windows 2000 installation of the such upgrade the other option is Microsoft Windows which I believe is Windows 98 and now it's gonna load files this time but this time it's done correctly. Setup starting Windows 2000. And this time, hopefully, it'll lead us to the setup options and not a blue screen of death alright here we are it loads up into a setup notifications hit enter enter press F8 to accept the license agreement enter 
convert the partition to NTFS because NTFS is qu is quicker than FAT32. Convert. It's going to check the C drive. It's now going to copy files. I'll be right back when this is done. All right, copying files is done. Now setup will initialize the Windows 2000 configuration. Then it's going to restart. You can either wait to restart or you can restart now I like to restart now starting windows and this time we get a Windows 2000 boot screen And now it's going to convert FAT32 to NTFS. Restart again. Oh, yeah, if you do the S option, it'll have Windows 98. If you do format C without the S option, it won't be bootable. Now Windows 2000 is loading. And now we're in setup. Windows 2000 setup, please wait. All right, welcome to Windows 2000 setup. Just click next, and now it's going to detect and install devices such as your keyboard and mouse. During this time, this it'll flicker so I'll be right back when this is done okay after Windows detects the hardware you can your regional settings if you need anything to modify you can click customize and after you've customized click next type in a name and company next you type in your computer name you can type in administrative password if you want to but I'm not going to
set your east set your time zone next and now it's going to install networking components now going to install components this build does not require a product key just so you know And then it's going to install Complus. And now it's going to perform final tasks like installing start menu items, registering components, saving settings, and removing any temporary files used. Alright, removing any temporary files used. And there you go. You have completed the Windows 2000 build 2202 setup wizard. Click finish. And then it'll restart for the last time. picked up the video driver network identification wizard click next you can type in a password of yours but I'm not going to Gonna play the startup sound.
I apologize for the stuttery startup sound. Windows 2000 is not designed to be to be installed in PC emulator. Here we are. We're going to go to right click my computer. Properties. As you can see it's Microsoft Windows 2000 version 5.2202. And yes, there is no need for you to use the PCEM utilities ISO. There is no need to use it. Here's the system information. We're going to run Winther. It's an evaluation copy because it's a beta, Whistler beta. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Stay tuned for more Whistler builds. How to install Whistler builds on PC emulator. And here's what the it's now safe to turn off your computer looks like in Whistler Build 22202. It's basically the same as Windows 2000. So yeah. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in my next Whistler tutorial tutorial, which is how and yes, the next Whistler tutorial on PC emulator will be Build 2211.